Apparently that worked. And it did. Look at that. You might be wondering what worked. That is overclocked to 2900 and the GPU is clocked to 1000. And I have force turbo running. We are at 58 to 60. I bet it gets a lot warmer. Okay, so the Raspberry Pi 5 is out. Everyone's able to get it. There's no shortage of Raspberry Pi 5s. What I have is the 8 gig version. And as with every Raspberry Pi, you just want to know how much can I overclock that thing. So we're going to find out. I'm going to show you how to do it. They changed the file structure a little bit. But other than that, it's still you're still overclocking a Raspberry Pi. It's pretty much the same thing. First, what we're going to do is run NeoFetch, see where we're at. We're at 2.4, so not too bad. Now, we will sudo nano boot firmware which is different used to it was just boot forward slash config.txt now it's boot firmware config.txt and that brings us into the config file we're going to scroll down here and I'm going to say arm underscore freak equals and 2900 is the highest I've been able to go. We'll try 2950. I know 3000, it won't even boot. And then we're gonna go ahead and crank up the integrated GPU. We're gonna set that to a thousand. And then force turbo, this will Keep it from throttling down. Whenever you are running a Pi, you will normally have a maximum and a minimum. This eliminates the minimum. We're just going to set that equal to 1. And then, same as always, Control X, Y, Enter. And now we will reboot it and see if it boots. That would be a no. It, it's... It's not. No. It, it no. No. Nah. Um I I guess I should fix that. Okay. So what I'm gonna do to fix this is I'm gonna unplug it. Let me um there. Now you can see what I see. You can see my notes. Don't need that anymore. Save it just in case. All I'm going to do is I'm going to take this SD card out and I'm going to put it in my computer and change that config file back to 2900. Apparently, it did not like the 20. No, we're not formatting. Apparently, it did not like the 29. 150. Now this here is the bootfs file and you can see right here is your config.txt. Make that a little bit bigger. We're going to change that to 2900. Make sure it saves. 
close, close, remove. You'd almost think I've done this a few times. In there. Okay. And we are back. And that was not edited. That was just good timing. Look, the Raspberry Pi is back. And now if we run Neo Fetch 2900 or 0.29, however you want to say it. Now the CPU will, the temperature will start climbing. The highest I've seen it get is like 62 to 63, maybe 64, but I haven't been running an IDE or anything like that really. Just search the internet to see what it would do. And I have a Python script that finds prime numbers and it also fills an array and then dumps it to check RAM. Let's see what it does. It normally runs about a seven second or five second. So 4.75.03. And you can see how the minimum frequency is 2,900. That's because we set that force turbo equal one. So it will not ever throttle down. It will stay at 2,900 the entire time. I would definitely recommend running a fan or some kind of cooler. Like the old Pi 4s, you had the block you could put on it. Fives don't really have much yet. Still kind of waiting for the market to catch up. But um, there you go. Now you know how to overclock a pie and how to fix one when you break it when you overclock it because that is definitely a needed thing to know there will be a link in the description for my github for this python script if you want to run it on your pie and see if you can uh beat 4.75 thanks for watching